Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, thanks for clicking on my video. So today I have another haul. I know, listen, it's the holidays and they have all these sales and I've kind of got caught up, but we're winding down, the end of the year is coming and then I think I'm gonna put some restrictions on myself. I don't know, cause then my birthday's in March. You see how this cycle keeps going? I always have an excuse. But today's haul is going to be from one brand. I racked up on some stuff from e.l.f. Cosmetics. So I have a box full of goodies here that I want to share with you guys. I got it on sale. It was 30% off, I think. And I had 20% cash back on Rakuten. So I will tell you all about that. Before we get into this video, if you're new, I would love to have you join the family. So please hit that subscribe button and turn on your notification bell so you know every time I upload. I do hauls, I do nails, I do hair, tutorials, reviews, a lot of beauty content. So if that's what you like, you're in the right place. I won't keep you waiting any longer. If you wanna see what I picked up from my e.l.f. haul, then stay tuned and keep on watching. So as we all know, e.l.f. makes really affordable products and they tend to dupe a lot of higher end products. So a lot of people are like, why would I pay all that money for the very expensive stuff if I could find something at a fraction of the cost? They have skincare, they have makeup, and I was just on their website and I was like, you know, I think I have enough stuff to do a full face already, but with these prices, let's see what else they have that's new. So I'm just gonna dive straight into the box and go into everything that I picked up. And you guys comment below and let me know if you're interested in seeing an, a face full of e.l.f. because it'll be very affordable. Or if you have any of these products already, let me know below. So the first thing I picked up, this was actually a free gift. This was the Glow Gleam and Beam Face Highlighting Palette. They did have two shades of this. I got the darker version because the lighter version was really light and I did not think that it would complement my skin tone but I thought it was cool because like I said everything was discounted I want to say it was 30% off this was around Black Friday and then I had 20% cash back so I spent about a hundred dollars and then I got 20% cash back so that was another $20 basically $20 off so this is what the palette looks like and as you can see these are definitely for darker skin tones I'm gonna swatch a couple of them because I'm wondering about that bronze and that rosy shade. Can't really see much on my fingers. To st oh, I take that back. Yes, you can. Those are the shades there. And I'll look. I just got back from the store. So, <laughs> and then those are the two shades swatched there. You can't really see. They're pretty deep, but I think that would be beautiful with a blush. And this may be like between my bronzer and my blush. But let me check this gold shade. They feel kind of, this one feels like it has a topper, like the coating on it or something. I'm really rubbing my finger in here and it's just coming off kind of glimmery. Yeah, nothing, well that's kind of a dud. That is not a great way to start. I swatched that and there is nothing on my hand, so. I don't know if I just got a dud or there's an over spray on it or what is going on, but I'll try to play with that more later. This next item I have looked at for years and honestly, I didn't need it, but with the sale and the cash back, I was like, you might as well. This is a 19 piece brush collection. It was 50 bucks. So 20% off of that or 30% off whatever I got. And the discount, I felt like it was worth it. I love e.l.f. brushes. These are the brushes that I tend to use most of the time. And so I thought this was cute because it comes with this pouch, this leather pouch, and it's like a little roll-up bag. So these are all your brushes here. So I already love their face brushes. I love their highlighter. I love their buffing brush. And then this is just more of their eyeshadow brushes. These are synthetic, so I thought this would be cute. I already got stuff on it. Um, I thought this would be cute to have and just have. Let me not lie. I just, it was on sale and I finally decided to buy it. That's what happened. 
To tell you quickly the brushes that come in it, there is a flawless face brush, a buffing foundation brush, a blurring powder brush, mineral powder brush, blush brush, complexion brush, which is for powders to blend for a contoured look. I don't know. Their powder brush, which I love. Small precision brush, which is for eyes. I'm meant to apply, it's meant to apply highlighter in the inner corners or smudge out your bottom lash line. Fluffy eye blender brush, detail crease brush, eye shadow C brush, flat eyeshadow brush, concealer brush, conceal blemishes and discoloration. Okay, so that's a small brush. Um, a spoolie brush, pointed eye pencil brush, flawless concealer brush. I love their concealer brush, a blending brush, and a highlighting brush. So most of these I have used already, but got it in a set and it was pretty cheap. Next, I bought another of the, what is this? The Camo CC Cream. I got this in the shade 510C, which, let me see what shade I have already. Okay, so I already have Deep 540N, and this one is a little deep for me right now. And I know sometimes cool undertones can go with my complexion, but I didn't. The one that was neutral underneath this one was too light, I believe. So, let's see how this one, I didn't even swatch it yet. Let's see how it looks. Yeah, I can already see a difference. So this top one here is the Cool Tone five, Deep 510, and then this is Deep 540N. So this is the 540N, which is not a bad shade, but when it dries down, it's a little bit dark. And then this is the Cool Tone. So as you can see, that one's lighter and honestly, Surprise, surprise, my foundation's a little dark today. I'm wearing the Patrick Star foundation powder. I'm wearing only that. And I was able to get this coverage. So it is really good. I used a brush. I didn't even use a sp uh, sponge, but it's a little dark for me. I got the shade 510R, I believe, something like that. So I'll probably exchange it, but either way. So this is the shade that I originally picked up which was good for me during the summer, but as you can see, it oxidizes a little. And then this is the new shade I got, which is a lot closer to my skin tone right now. So I just wanted to pick up another shade that was a better match. I'm sorry, correction. In the Patrick Star, I have Dark 3R. It is Dark 3R and it says dark with rosy undertones and it definitely has me looking a little red, a little rosy. So not the right shade, but I'll exchange it. Next, I picked up their Prime and Stay Finishing Powder. I picked this up because it said Prime and Stay, so I thought it might be a good powder to put underneath your foundation to kind of help you stay matte and to smooth everything out. But it says it's a lightweight tinted powder that sets your makeup. Can be used alone or applied throughout the day for a touch up, so it does not say. It says dust powder all over the face to set makeup with a powder brush. So I guess, I don't know why I would say prime. That doesn't make sense to me, but that's what I picked it up for. So might keep this in my purse. Next, I picked up a liquid matte lipstick. This one is in the shade coffee. I have not tried any of their lip products. I don't think I have to be, I don't think I have. And this shade is really pretty. Coffee should be based on what I saw online, a type of brownish, maybe even a red. Ooh, yeah, that is a gorgeous shade. So that is it right there. Absolutely beautiful. I could have wore that today if I would have opened this. That is gonna be a staple for the winter. Next, I picked up their Putty Eye Primer in Cream. I don't have any of these. I love the MAC Paint Pots. I use, which one do I use? Not Painterly, Laying Low. I'm gonna double check. I'll put it on the screen if that's not it, but I pretty much, I used to use that all the time before I got lazy and just started using my concealer. So I wanted to try this to see how it compares. Let's see if I can show you guys the shade. It is definitely a cream, and the fact that this is already separating from the container makes me think this is old or getting dried out. So that's not a great thing. This is very dry. 
Oh, that's what happens when you order stuff online that you don't normally order. I'm literally gonna have to try to scoop this out with something to see if I can make it. This is very dry. Like I just scooped it out on here because that was not working. That's the shade blended out there. So it's a pretty light shade, but it is definitely dry. So when you put it on, it will dry down. But I've never used these and I was curious to see how it compares, but off the bat, getting this straight out the pack, it says it's crease and smudge proof for 12 hours, but she's dry. Next, this was just a, <laughs> just because this is the Earth and Ocean eyeshadow palette. Y'all know I love these shades. And I don't know if I had seen this in the store before, but they're normally $14. And it's worth the price for as many eyeshadows that you get. But for somebody who has a bunch of eyeshadows already, I was not gonna spend the full price. However, this price, yes, we will do it. Doesn't come with a mirror, but this is the shades right here. And I think it is so pretty, so pretty. And trenches, it's almost like a satin, the darkest shade in here that could be used as a black. But of course, I love the greens. Tundra's probably going to be a top. Oh, yeah. See, I hate shades like that. And I'm glad maybe Lagoon is the same thing. No, it's not. It's a little more smooth. But as you can see, that shade here is already, I just stuck my finger in it. And it's already like a dent in it, kind of like a topper. And that's what it looks like there on my finger. So you can see it is very crumbly, very flaky. And then that's Lagoon. So that's Lagoon. It's all right. And then that's that crumbly shade. You can see it's falling down my arm. So, I mean, that's the only thing. When you buy stuff that is lower in, more affordable, it's there's might be some products within a product, like these eyeshadows. I'm pretty sure if this is anything like the new classics, I love that palette. I have my Hot Jalapeno palette, which I love. I have some other e.l.f. palettes, and it just depends. Like some of the shades work really well and others don't. So it's kind of hit or miss, but I like the color scheme of this one. So that's why I wanted to try it. Oh, more brushes. I don't know if I bought this or if it was a free gift. I think it was a free gift, I'm pretty sure. This is their Mint Melt Brush Set. It's three brushes, the Blending Brush, Eye Contour Brush, and All Over Eyeshadow Brush. Your girl is set for brushes. I bought some high-end brushes. I think that video's up already. But anytime you can get something like this as a free gift, I mean, of course, you love it. Up next, I picked up this e.l.f. Stay All Night Micro Fine Setting Mist. I wanted to see how this compared to the Urban Decay All Nighter which honestly, I don't even know if I'll really be able to tell. I mean, I wear all nighter pretty much every time I do my makeup and I do know for a fact I can tell a difference when I forget to wear it, especially during the summer. But right now with my skin texture improving and my face not being as oily, it might not be that bad, but you know we gotta check this mister. It is beautiful. Has a little bit of a scent, but not bad. The mister is incredible. And y'all know how I fuss about that. So out the bat, this is already doing better than a lot of setting sprays I've tried. So apparently I lost my mind and I bought some more brushes. Y'all, I don't know. The, this is the e.l.f. Putty Blush Brush. I got this because I have one of the putty blushes and the brushes that I have to do my blush, most of them are real hair. And I don't feel like it picks up the product very well. So I wanted to try this with my cream blushes to see how it helps and if it's a good brush. I also picked up their Complexion Duo brush, which is a, a foundation and concealer brush together. This is something I would travel with. So this will probably go in my travel bag just to minimize having to bring two brushes. I picked up another putty blush brush. And another putty blush brush. Is that it? Please tell me that's it. Oh no, we have four. I, maybe, I don't. <laughs> Speechless. That's it. We have four. And then that is it. That's it for the brushes. I also picked up a few of their brow products. 
So, I, because do I have any e.l.f. brow products? I don't. And I think that's why. Okay, so I picked up their Shape and Stay Brow Pencil. How is this a brow pencil in clear? It's a clear wax pencil that helps shape and tame brows. Oh, okay. Let me open this. I don't remember much about this. I don't know why I thought this was a brow gel, but maybe it's like a wax, like the Anastasia Beverly Hill wax, but they also came out with one in a pot, like the putty blushes. So maybe that's more similar and I don't know what this would compare to. Oh, definitely exactly what it says. So it's a wax stick. So you can see right there. I don't have anything. Picking up a little bit of the product I have down, but yeah, I can feel a little something. This may not be a bad idea. If you don't like brow gels or you want more of a sculpted brow look, this might be good, but we'll try it. I also picked up their Instant Brow Lift Pencil. This is just a brow pencil. I picked up Deep Brown in this, and then I picked up their Clear Brow and Lash Mascara. So this is for like a brow gel for my eyebrows. I don't know who would use a clear lash mascara. What would you use that for? Y'all let me know because I've never, I don't know why you would, but it's here. Elf has one. <laughs> Next, I picked up these eye tapes. These are to help with wing liner. If you struggle with wing liner, yes, you could use regular tape, like tape you have in your office. The only thing is like, Put it on your pants and kind of get some of the stickiness off of it because you don't want it to tug on your skin too much. But I saw e.l.f. had these. They're 40 strips in here and I think this was like $2 and then the discount. So I figured I'd go ahead and try it just to, just cause. <laughs> Next I picked up their H2O Proof Eyeliner Pen in Jet Black. I think, is this a felt tip or a brush? Let's check it out. Felt tip. Eh, don't love it, but let's see how dark it is. I definitely prefer a brush tip. My, I still, my favorite so far is the Physicians Formula Lash Booster one. But let's see. Yeah, definitely a felt tip. And then, oh, that's pretty dark. That is very dark. All right, not mad about that. That will be in the upcoming video. I picked up a nodal, another Total Face Sponge. I have one right here. Picked up a backup. I love this one. It says you can use it wet or dry. I normally wet it, but I have used it dry before, and it helps to keep your coverage a little better when it's dry versus wet. So I just picked up another one. I picked up another liquid lipstick. This is a red. I don't think I have any pure red liquid lipsticks. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure. Not any new ones anyway. I know some old ones I have. Anyway, whatever. This was inexpensive. I wanted to try this formula. So I'm going to swatch it next to, ooh, that is a gorgeous red. And these are a pretty thin formula, but they're very opaque. So I just wanted to get a red to have if I decide to do a red lip for the holidays or just in general, I don't have one in my collection that I could recall, so <laughs> now I do. Next, I picked up the Lash It Loud Volumizing Mascara. I picked up this mascara and I picked up the Big Mood Mega Volume and Lifting Mascara. Both of these had really good reviews and I didn't know which one I wanted, so I got them both. I also finally picked up the e.l.f. Jelly Pop Dew Primer. This is supposed to be a dupe for the Hydro Grip Primer, which I do love from Milk. So I wanted to try this one just to see how close it was. It says that it has a unique gel texture that works like glue, like glue to grip makeup and ensure it stays put, packed with skin-loving ingredients like hyaluronic acid and antioxidants, your skin will be looking and feeling its very best. Yeah, so I've seen this for a while. It came out, it went out of stock, and then it came back. So now I get to try it. Next, I picked up two, why did I do this? I remember I was having issues with my cart and that might be why. I picked up two of their liners, their Lock On Liner and Brow Cream, and I picked them both up in Espresso. So this can be either used on your brows, 
or can be used as an eyeshadow and an eyeliner. I didn't mean to get two, but two ended up in my box. I am gonna go ahead and swatch this real quick. Y'all know how I have been on my hunt for a brown liner. I have found some good ones, but they were also more expensive. So I just wanna see, I'm gonna take this little brow brush that I have right here. Okay, very creamy formula. And let's put this here. Ooh, that is really dark to try to do brows with. Mm. Y'all see I'm rocking more of like a bushy brow look today, but just to define the bottom here. Oops, too far. Now you see, I'm about to be looking crazy the rest of the video. Color is definitely dark and I do feel like it is going to stay. Of course, we will have to see throughout the rest of the day, but right off the bat, besides just messing up my brows, I like the shade of this. This is something you would just have to use a light hand with because it is very dark. All right, we're gonna stop there before I mess up anything else. But I really like this. I don't even have eyeliner on. We're not messing with anything. That's not the point of the video. I just need to show you all this stuff. Two more products, three more products. First thing is this Putty Eye Primer in black. I got this because I know whenever you're doing a smoky eye or sometimes when you're using shades that kind of shift or you want them to be more bold, you put a black underneath you can also put a white for other shades, but sometimes a black is better. We'll get into that another time, but I don't have a black cream product or any kind of pencil or anything like that. So I decided to pick this up. I also picked up their Poreless Face Primer on the go. I just wanted to try this and I think it was pretty cheap. This, I believe, comes in a bigger pump normally, but this is a travel size, I guess. So was pretty inexpensive and then lastly I picked up this elf mint melt in chocolate mint these shades were super cute and I really just felt like they had another one that was more greenish but I felt like this color scheme because it has the brown and the cream and then it has a green shimmery shade and a kind of champagne shimmer shade like this could be a perfect every day or also add the green for more of a pop of color. So that is what it looks like there. And that green, let's go ahead and swatch them. So those are the four shades right there. The brown does look really dark. And then this is the first shade, which is that green, definitely a shimmery mint shade. This is the more champagne shade. That is pretty too. And then here is the shade that I said would be more like a crease, which it is. And then here is the dark one. So that's a really cute eyeshadow palette. And you know these are cheap, so definitely think it's cute and worth it. So that's it for my video. I feel like I got a lot of stuff. I got a lot of stuff for the amount of money that I spent, which is always exciting. But I can't wait to use these products and show you a full face of e.l.f. with some of their newer products and give you my first impression, so stay tuned for that. Thank you for sticking with me till the end of this video. If you're new, I hope you enjoyed it and you decided to join the family. If you love seeing hauls, please give this video a thumbs up and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.